Well, are you going to get married or not? That's my question. <laughs> because it does look like it. Your first card is screaming partnership, relationship, but also speaking of truth. So you see that? That's about expressing of truth. Um, is it getting serious, Sal? Well, I don't know. It does look like it. It is the Hierophant. You, you and Taurus, I believe, has something. Okay, you guys have been, I don't know, been involved. <laughs> so let's see here, Sag. How are you guys doing? Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. I'm Sal. I do the readings here every day for your career, your finances, and your relationship. At the same time, I do say Dear Vedic Astrology. So if you need to get your chart interpreted for a whole year for 2024, it's available in the description box below. Now, I teach people how to manifest using different kinds of technique. And what is special for today in this particular read, especially the relationship is here, I'll be um, giving you secret remedies that I have practiced for myself that I have seen work in the extended. Okay, But we'll see first what kind of remedies you would need. Let me see. And I will discuss it in the extended reading. Okay? Judgment. The Sagittarius are putting this in the like in a, like the stone, like you know, you're writing this in the stone, meaning you want it final. Having the judgment card, you're also declaring that you're not going to be able to entertain any more further than what it is. If we're not putting a ring on it, then might as well be done with this. So you're serious, you're focused, you're determined that only serious committed relationship is what you will entertain. I feel like your person is listening. For others, judgment is also a reflection of reconciling. Now, considering that Mars is in your first house right now, excuse me, it is combust. I don't advise you to do any foreign travel because 12th house Lord is in the first combust, so it's not auspicious, just in case you're wondering. I also don't advise you from uh, like venturing right now for any kind of business. Maybe we can take a step back first, just for a few more weeks. I believe Mars is combust for like 111 days or something like that, okay? Because it's too close to sun every time. So it's very, uh, it always gets combust and Mercury also. Now, because um, Mars is ruler of your fifth house, so which is the lord also of your dating and your romance. So chances are there's two planets that we need, well, I don't know if you're having issues with your, well, I'm pretty sure you're having issues with your relationship, you're here. So I am a pro, a master of remedies with Mars. Oh, trust me, I have remedied Mars like nobody else. Oh. <laughs> Why do I remedy Mars? Because Mars is a karka for debts, okay? And if anything, do you like debts? <laughs> So I have gone through, uh, how to call this, research and all those things. I will share the remedy for Mars because it is also in your fifth house. It's dating, the Lord of your, for dating and romance. So I'll share that in the extended, okay? So it will help you with your relationship and your partnership. Now Mars is not the karka for relationship though, but it is the Lord of your relationship, uh, your romance, okay? The Karka for a relationship is Saturn. The Lord of your seventh for marriage and union is Mercury. The Sun. The Sun is still in Sagittarius. Your person is stressed with what you're doing. They're not ready for what you're asking of them. I feel like you're very... Um, I have to say this. You're, you're demanding. Okay? You're putting things now into like plain sight. Like, listen. If you like me, you like me. Where is it going and what do we want here with the Sun card? The Nine of Swords over here, this is showing their frustration. Your person, which is right now, Mercury is your person uh, because the Lord of the Seventh is in the Twelfth House. They are restless and ha wasn't, uh, hasn't been able to sleep. Okay, Mercury in the Twelfth. Right. Mercury is debilitated in Pisces. Okay? And that's the Twelfth House also. But you're, right now it's in um, Scorpio. It's in a watery sign. Mercury does not function well in a watery sign. Okay, so think of it as an air goes into water. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work well. Okay, so let's see more here in the situation with your relationship. Mercury will move soon to Sagittarius. However, Mars and Sun is there. So there's more conflict. 
So astrology is very easy when it comes to just the transit, but I don't know your chart. Okay, do be aware. I'm looking at it from this perspective only. Two of Swords with the Page of Swords. There is communication here coming from them. And the way I see this with the Hermit and the Knight of Cups, they're feeling alone and left out. The problem here is instead of really expressing this to you, they act out and see other people. Well, I feel like just for fun, nothing serious. And this is where you're telling your person now, like they cannot keep doing this. Sorry, my phone is gonna overheat there. So you're telling your person, it's like this cannot happen. The lovers, your soulmate and the sun. Now, I don't like it, but I like it that it came out, which is this card. I'll tell you why. There's two crystals that everyone should have, citrine and obsidian. I'm telling you, I have manifested money, business, the house, the car, and of course, the relationship. So if you're stuck and you don't know what's going to happen in your 2024, turn it around today. Get your citrine and obsidian. Our website is eatreadlove.me. The reason why I like it, let's just discuss it first, because this is your seventh house. This is Gemini. This is female and male, not the twins. So if ever that you're, you know, people call it the twins, you know, you can, you know, it's not, it's not a twins. It's a choice. It is, uh, you know, a connection. It's past life connection here. It's very lusty. And the reason why I don't like it is the night is there. Night of Cups to the Lovers. Before I continue also, today's the last day for our 50% off in our holiday collection. Uh, yes, this is our winter collection. Yes, for our pink opal cherry quartz. And this is a love and money stack. It is 50% off and I, we've made thousands of this already and everybody has just been going crazy with the pink opal turquoise. But I wear obsidian and citrine, of course. It comes with a free money magnet charm over here, free shipping in the US, free classes in the description box, and we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. The way that the pink opal helps, it promotes harmony, peace, and balance from within. When you're chaotic in the inside, you'll be chaotic outside. So if you're seeing the relationship chaotic, well, you need to work within and then watch, it will transform. So the frequency of the combination of the crystals, which I made myself, well, that's how it can help you because you have a balance here with the lovers, okay? And the sun card. Now, other things that I can see with you guys here, let me just keep moving your chart here, is the part that you have Saturn right now in your third house. Your, your decisions is final, cannot be bent. You may be persuaded before, like you can be easily persuaded before. That's why you have a two of swords here. Your person tried to talk you out of your decision, page of swords, but you can't. This time around, you cannot, okay? But we'll see first with these lovers, okay? Because your person's intention, I want to know, because the night goes with lovers, so it kind of give me the vibe that when they're not with you, they're really with someone else, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> I'm not sure how you will receive this message. And if you're going to get stressed with the Nine of Swords. First, they're stressed. Now I feel like you might be the one who's going to be stressed. This is one of the things with Mars as combust right now. It's weakening, of course, the relationship. Even Jupiter, the Karaka for the fifth, not unless you're trying to have a baby, you have a sun card over here, then it's auspicious. But, of course, because we love Jupiter in the fifth house, but since you feel that the relationship is getting more confusing, seven of cups, it's weakening. You have so much uncertainty right now. You're very much scared, nine of wands you don't know where it's really going then i want to see what's about to happen because the sun with the hierophant can be with the leo you have a gemini you have a libra you have an aries over here from what i'm seeing here is that there will be a positive outcome but i i don't know why i'm not seeing it let's see is there any scorpio also okay if there's anything that will turn around in this relationship I'll discuss it in the extended link in the description box below. Oh, we need to be aware. There's a devil card. I'll see you down there. Hold on, hold on. You're here already. And I have a free class for manifestation of love and money. And if you are serious, there's a free class in the description box below. Join me and learn more on how to manifest with a real gold pee out.